everyone and in this video I'd like to show you how we can uh, customize users and roles inside OpenCBS software. In order to create roles and users you need to go to the configuration section and then find users and roles menu and start creating. So let's first look at how we can create roles then we'll create users. So we need to go to the roles and roles are giving the rights to access specific functions or menu items. It is very important to configure users' roles based on principles of segregation of duties. Usually, those roles will be based on the positions of the users within the financial institution. To create a new role, uh, we need to click the Create button and fill the field name. So let's say uh, we have a role teller manager uh, or let's say head of tellers head of teller and then we need to mark the needed checkboxes from the list of permissions for the new role. So let's find what the head of teller can do. Uh, let's inside. Let's go inside and let's uh, mark the needed permissions. Let's say that the teller, head of teller, can do everything which is related to teller management. Once we have specified everything, we can click save, and now we have uh, this role here. So head of teller. And if you need to edit some things, you can just click on it click edit and uh, add more let's say permissions or change the existing permissions then you can save once you have created a role you can go to the configuration section find users and you can create a user so users mean authorized users who has access to the system. Users are associated to a role and they are given specific permissions. Several users can be associated to one single role. For instance, loan officer role can be used to give limited access to OpenCBS to as many loan officers as needed. To create a new users, you need to click on the create button. Then you have to specify the following user details. You need to specify the uh, user's first name, last name. Okay, let's specify username. So you need to give a unique username. Let's say hat teller. Then you have to specify the branch. Uh, give password. Uh, give a role for the, uh, to this user. Let's he, uh, this, let's say this user is a is the head of teller. Uh, email address. So the email address will be used when the user uh, tries to reset the password or when the user forgot the password. So that's why it's very important to put the actual email here. Phone number. address ID number and position okay head of teller so once we have specified everything we can save and now we have uh, this new user so this one and this user will uh, Login into the system as head of teller. So let me log in head teller and enter this password. Okay, so now we see that this user uh, will is given access to teller management and can do everything uh, which is related to the teller management. So in this video we have seen how we can create roles, how we can give uh, permissions to the roles, how we can create users and attach a role to the users. Thank you for your attention.